Okay, let's take a look at some action examples. I'm going to go ahead and double click on our input object here and type in some sample text. I'm going to type in the quick brown fox and press OK. Now I'm going to press Control D to duplicate this and just bring the new one down here. And I'm going to actually clear the text out of this in the properties pane here. Okay, now I'm going to create a label object and I'm going to call this first one copy bring it down here and press control D to duplicate it and I'm going to call this second one paste okay so I'll just line these up with each other and move them out here now all we have to do is attach some simple actions to these two buttons and we can copy and paste between these input objects so I'm going to double click the copy label here and in the actions area on the on click tab I'm going to click on the add action button and select from the input category input copy it's very simple I'll leave that set to input one that's our first input object and press OK now I'm going to double click on the paste label and in the actions dialog in the on click tab click on the add action button and from the input category I'm going to choose input paste but this time I'm going to switch the object name to be input2 so it'll paste to the second input object then I'll press finish and OK and we can actually press F5 and go ahead and preview our project now now whatever text I select in this first object is going to be copied when I press the copy button so I'm going to go ahead and select the text quick plus the space just after it I'm going to click on the copy label and now I'm going to press the paste label as you can see it paste that in there I'm going to paste it again and again each time I paste or click that label it pastes the text that I had selected here before I copied now if I go ahead and for example select the fox text I can press copy and paste and it'll paste that into the input object so you can see what it's doing is it's copying my active selection and then it's pasting what was on the clipboard Again, I'll select the quick, I'll press copy and paste, and you can see it gets pasted in there. And we could do this endlessly. So that's the copy and paste functions. Now I'm just going to go ahead and move these over a bit. I'll duplicate the paste label by pressing Control D, and this time I'll switch the new one to say delete. I'll go into the actions tab, get rid of the action that's in there, and I'll click on add action and add this input delete action and I'm going to leave that set to label or to input one rather I'll press finish then I'll press OK and I'm just going to go ahead and align these buttons for neatness and I'll press F5 to preview the project now we've added this extra button whenever I click that whatever selected in this first input object is going to be deleted so I'm going to go ahead and copy the text brown fox by selecting it and pressing the copy button now I'll press the paste button and you'll see it'll get pasted into the second box here and then I'm going to go ahead and press the delete button you see that text is now gone from this input object I can actually input new text if I like for example silver fox and if I like I can go ahead and copy this text by selecting it, pressing the copy button, and then I can paste it into the second object by pressing the paste button. Again, if I press delete, that text will be deleted. So this allows you to manipulate the active selection within your input object in very sophisticated ways, as you can see here. And the last selection or the last action we're going to look at actually here, and I'm going to double click on my page, go into the actions area, click on add action for the input um, actions area and the last action we're going to look at is the input set selection action and the get selection obviously is just a reflection of this so you can experiment with that there's an example of that in the help files and it's very simple if you know how to use the set selection action so we'll go ahead and work with that I'm going to double click on input set selection here in my pages on show event and I'm going to go ahead and select one as my starting area or as my starting index rather and 9 as my end index and I'm going to leave this set to input 1 and press finish and I'm going to press OK now when we start this project it's going to select the first nine characters of that input object so let's go ahead and press F5 to preview 
and you can see the active selection is indeed set to the first nine characters of that string. If I press copy, it'll copy that. If I press paste, it'll paste it into the next object there. And if I press delete, it'll delete it. Again, I can still drag if I like to select the remaining text, press copy, press paste. I can press paste as many times as I want and it'll keep pasting it. And if I like, I can press delete to delete that text. So that demonstrates the input object actions. And as you can see, they're very powerful. And by combining these with input masks and so forth, you can really create some super high level functionality. And I hope that everybody's comfortable using these input objects now in Autoplay Media Studio Professional. If you have any questions, of course, you can always join us in the forum anytime.